In this video, I'll walk through how to start a new Revit project. In the previous videos, I've been exploring this sample architecture project file, provided by Revit Architecture 2016. Now, I'll work from a new, blank project. The screen shown here is the Recent Files screen. After you have created or viewed Revit projects, they will appear here. Currently, I can only see the three sample files since I haven't created a new project yet. Beneath the projects area are recently opened families, or in this case, a few sample families. Since I am running the full version of Revit 2016, which includes Revit Structure and Revit MEP, there are a variety of pre-populated templates to choose from. Choosing any of these options will open a new Revit project based on the specific template. Notice, I can also open an existing Revit project, or select New. You can see it has now prompted me to start a new project. I can also start a new project template by selecting here. If I want to save an RTE file, which is a Revit template file, I can open it up here. This is similar to AutoCAD and other Autodesk products. However, for now I'll create a new project instead of a template. I'll click here to expand this menu to choose a template for my model. You can see that I can choose between a construction, architectural, structural, or mechanical template. For this first project, I'll start with an architectural template. I'll make sure I am opening a new project and click OK. You can see I now have a new blank project with all of my floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D views and elevation set up in the project browser. Clicking on the A100 unnamed sheet in the project browser brings up a new blank sheet that Revit generated. I can drag a variety of views onto this sheet or create more sheets if needed. Now, I'll take a look at the level zero floor plan, which is essentially the ground floor. Revit created elevation markers shown here, which allow me to create elevations. Expanding the Elevations menu, you can see I currently have four default elevation markers located here in the plan view. East, North, South, and West. Notice these are listed alphabetically in the project browser, as opposed to ordering them clockwise around a compass. North, East, South, and West. Here, you can access your 3D views, which is currently empty because there aren't any elements or families that have been added to the project. So now that you've seen how to start a Revit project from scratch, I can begin developing it. As I work through this introduction course, I'll create a small Revit project, adding things like walls, doors, and windows, and developing some levels and grids. In the next video, I'll go over viewing and navigating a project, which differs in Revit when compared to other Autodesk products.